why odata is called the odbc of web uh, okay so before we answer that question why odata is called the ODC, odbc of web we need to understand what is odbc so its um, full form is open database connectivity so uh, so just like OD, odbc is the standard api or a standard interface which help us to access the database or the dbms uh, independent of whether that there is whether it is a database management system or an or it is independent of any operating system so odbc is always needed uh, if you want to access the db okay so how does odbc achieves this so odbc achieves this by adding a driver so they add a driver between the application layer and the database layer and that driver translate the queries which are requested by the applications into instructions which the database can understand so that's why uh, so if you want to pull any information from the database you have to go through odbc similarly odata acts like a middleware between the producers and the consumers so the producers that is the producer of odata which might be sap or any non sap and consumer consumer can be any end client it consumer can be uh, uh, sap system or a non sap system as well so no matter what the communication between these two happens through odata so therefore odata offers database like access to the server side resources so say um, server is the database so we'll we'll um, think like server is like database in odbc so and odbc is like odata so odata offers database like access to server side resources and hence it is aptly said that OD, odata is the odbc for the web so if there is any communication needed between the client and the server then odata is the middle uh interface which does that communication if we come back to this same picture which we saw earlier so look here this odata so if if you have to communicate to sap then it has to come through odata so the responses has to come from odata so any any information which is sent from the server is through odata so therefore it is called the odbc of the web